guys, we're back on the after show with the Real Housewives of New York City, Luann, Leah, Ramona, Ebony, and Sonia. Um, amazing, I have a lot of viewer questions. Leah, Maddie M wants to know how Judaism is going. Have your parents come around to the idea? <laughs> Uh, it's a long process. I think I will probably be Jewish by the high holidays this year, which is exciting. Yeah. Um, my parents have definitely come around and they're supportive. That's great. Um, yeah. Ebony, did you watch a lot of Roni before you joined the show? No, Andy, I didn't watch a lot of Roni. I watched all of Roni. Did you really? <laughs> Yes, from episode one, baby. I'm a Bravo holic like everybody else, of course. Wow, that's so. <laughs> so, who was most different? That were people different than you expected them to be? Then, I mean, I know you and I know they were not. They were as advertised. In fact, I would say everybody was blue, more blue than expected. Ramona, more <laughs> Ramona than expected. Sonia, potent. Everybody was just full throttle. Wow, that's very so, consistent. That is so interesting. Um, Luann, Haley G wants to know if you think living so close to Ramona has been good for your friendship. Um, yeah, it's it it has actually. She we actually had a beauty treatment uh last week and uh it was inconvenient for the girl to go to both our places, so I ended up going to Ramona so she didn't have to move all her stuff. So it is convenient. Yeah, we like it. Isn't it funny that it took Oh, 13 years for you two to start kind of <laughs> hanging out as buddies. Do you think, why do you think that is? Is it, a, I mean, was, was Dorinda cock blocking you two? Well, that's an idea. Think about that's that. an interesting I point. It was so much Dorinda. It was just, you know, um, we are on different like parallels. I mean, you know, uh, you know, Ramona was, you know, married and I was divorced and, you know, she was single and I was married and then I married again and she was single. You know what I mean? So we weren't, you know, running in the same circle. So Ram Ramona, Ali F texted and wants to know, how did you react when you saw Leah warning Ebony about you in tonight's episode? No big deal. Um, Ramona, Lori Kidder wants to know, how is real estate going? And did you consult fellow housewife slash realtor Kelly Ben Simone for advice? <laughs> I'm not really that friendly with Kelly, but um, my real estate things are going very well. I'm very happy. By the way, Kelly just did a big like Instagram live or YouTube or something all about debunking myths behind Scary Island. I was wondering if any of you <laughs> saw that. No. No. You know, what you just see is what happens. So how can she behind the it? scenes? What'd you exactly. say, Sonia? Just be happy you didn't see the behind the scenes, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> the girls could agree it was worse what you didn't see. Oh my God. Um, boy, by God, the I'm way- I'm I missed that trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? Um, uh, our virtual audience, you guys really came on an amazing night. Raise your hands if you have a question. Um, is anyone, I feel like this gentleman in the bottom uh, two boxes in might have something that he wants to say to the women. <laughs> Hello, sir. Anything you want to ask the women? I'm Jonathan, I'm all the way from Dublin and Ireland, Andy, all across the pond. Ooh. Wow. Yes. And you uh, watch the real size of New York City and Ireland? Yeah. Yes, we have all of Housewives. And who's your favorite on the show, sir? Ooh, Luan has to be my favorite. <laughs> Lou, Aww. you're his favorite. Aww. What do you What do you love about Lou? Is, wait a second. Is that a Giovanni jacket that you have on? <laughs> mm, it, it might be Giovanni esque, but no. right. What do you it's love so about Lou, favorite. sir? My favorite about I love a good cabaret. You, he yeah. loves a good cabaret. Aww. Very good. All right. I'm glad I picked you. Well, I'm, isn't it? Isn't it fun to know that people are watching from all over the world? By the way. Yes. Amazing. Love the audience Amazing. tonight. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, Sonia, you're still rocking that Ellen Barkin haircut. It looks really good. It's great. It's been wonderful. I call it pandemic hair, and I'm dressing pandemic wear. Um, Very easy going. Yeah. Um, I know you're about to give us some pandemic teeth there, too. 
I know, right? Not teeth. <laughs> not <laughs> teeth. Teeth. No, you, check, the, check here. No, the boob. The boob. Your boob's teeth. falling yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, the it looks good. Gone. Yes, it looks very good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sonia, uh, are you dating these days? What's happening with your dating life? Well, you know, I don't want to give the storyline away, but uh, I am cleaning out my closet. So it may have seemed like I was getting more mattress action than I actually am. I stopped seeing Netflix and chill. I stopped seeing my sports guy, the hockey player. I also stopped seeing someone else recently. So uh, I'm ready to refresh the talkers. She starts, she starts seeing some other people. Okay. That's All right. right. Okay, very good. But no sex. No okay. sex. Okay. Um, well, I want to thank you guys. Anyone else have anything they want to add before I let you go? Just it's a great. Oh my God! What thank you, ladies. For being We're excited to see. Okay, now hold on. Now everyone's talking. Everyone's okay, talking hold on. Let me time. let me just go around. I would like to hear from each of you. Closing words, Sonia. I think the viewers are going to be very surprised. It's a very fresh new season, very different, lots of drama as usual, but we also can laugh at ourselves. It's a very funny season as well. Ebony. Uh, this is a legendary franchise. It's my honor to be a part of it, and I want to thank every person um, that's a part of this show, these women, for embracing me. All right, Ramona. I use the word, the just adjective, this season is fascinating. And what we go through, the five of us, a lot of ups and downs, but the way we came together at the end for our finale trip was amazing. Yes. That's, that's great. Uh, I, Leah. I agree. I feel like I'm going to cheer up, but I'm PMSing so bad that I'm, I'm so oh. emotional right now. <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't have these women this year, I don't know what I would have done. I would have been locked up in my apartment, like sad. And I, I don't know, like, I'm just, I'm so grateful for them. Wow, that's Aww. great. Love grateful you, for you guys. And we're grateful Close. for you. And we're grateful for you. Yes, Leah. we love you, Leah. Love you guys, love you guys. Lou? Love you, sweeter. Well, you know, we've been through a lot. Black Lives Matters, a pandemic, an election. I mean, it's really been a really rough year. Uh, all the way around, and I feel like it was a very bonding um, season for us because, you know, we couldn't be out filming in our usual locations, and we were in our homes. So I feel like, you know, being at home, it's so much cozier, and you really get to know people better by being in the place that they live. So I feel like that that's really cool and really different about this season that, you know, we bonded and during a really difficult yeah. time, and hopefully we give people yeah. uh, joy, you know, and by watching yeah. our journey. All right. Absolutely well said. Well said I'm going to leave well it there. Said. Well said. Uh, thank you, Real Housewives of New York City. Lou, Leah, Ramona, Ebony, and Sonia. Thank Real you. Housewives of New York City, Tuesdays at 9 on Bravo. Keep clicking around Bravo TV for more. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.